Bath wrong. All right, so again, this is not standard form. This is equal to 80. We want it to equal to 1, so we got to divide by 80 on both sides. Therefore, 16 over 80, that reduces to 1 over 5. I will do an example of the issue that you guys came up with with that last problem um, next uh, when we do our next set. Then this becomes x plus 1 squared over 16 equals 1. Now it's in standard form, right? So we're good. Now we have something in standard form. Awesome. Um, so now we want to be able to look at identifying the, the foci, the vertices, and the major axis. So first thing, center, that's rather easy. Center is your hk. Remember, it's x minus h, y minus k. So therefore, this is going to be negative 1, comma 2. Be careful with that. Just remember, h is always with x, y is always with k. Um, remember our equation, does a squared equal 16? No. Don't fall for it, right? It's a squared minus the b squared. So in this case, my a squared is going to be equaling 5. Therefore, a equals square root of 5. b squared is equal to 16. So that means b equals 4. And then remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared represents the relationship. Is it OK if I just don't do, if I do the math in my head and say c squared is equal to 21? Right? Well, c is equal to root 21, right? Are we OK from there? Yes. All right. So remember, if we need to find the uh, vertices, that is going to be a value of a from the center. Now, we got to identify where is our transverse axis. Is our transverse axis vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Vertical, vertical because a squared is under the y, right? If a squared was under the x, like the last example, then you have a horizontal transverse axis. Since my a squared is under the y, notice the two equations. You guys see how like, the x and y's are swapped right, on those two equations? So when, y, when a is under y, you have a vertical transverse axis. Now, that's important because if I'm adding and subtracting a from my center and I want to go up and down, what should I add a to? Should I add a to negative 1? Is that going to make my points go up and down? Or should I add a to 2? 2, right? The k coordinate, you want to add it from up and down. So my vertices, I'm going to find this information and then I'm going to sketch it so we can check our work. My vertices in this case is giving negative 1, comma 2, plus or minus the square root of 5. My foci in this example are going to, is going to be negative 1, comma 2, plus or minus the square root of 21. And then if I want to find my asymptotes, vertical transverse axis means my equation is y equals plus or minus a over b times x minus h. So that's going to look like this. y equals plus or minus my a, which is square root of 5, over b times x minus h. So that's going to be x plus 1. And then um, plus k, so that'd be plus 2. So that'd be the equation of my asymptote. And then if I wanted to sketch this, my center is at 2, negative 1. My vertices is 2 plus or minus. So what is like square root of 5? That's roughly 2 and change, right? 2 and change. So I can just go like up 2 between like 2 and 3. There's one vertice. Down 2 and change. Here's my other vertice. The square root of 21, that most resembles what? 4 and some change, right? So from my center, I could go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, between 4 and 5. And say that's my foci. And then I could go down 4 and change. 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, we're just roughly just doing a sketch. Now, actually, before I sketch that, could I do a rough sketch of my asymptotes, you don't want to graph this, right? Does everybody agree that's not a really good use of your time to try to graph that, right? I could just find my, cos my foci, which I already are my vertices, which I already did, and just find my covertices and then just create a box. So my covertices, that's the easiest one I have so far. That's just a distance of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Covertice, 1, 2, 3, 4. Covertice. And again, if I just want to get a sketch, we can make it look something like that. Right? It's pretty nice, pretty pretty, I would say. 
almost tattoo worthy, but not, not quite.